How to Stay Happy with Empathic Coach Rochelle Chapter 1 Let's Go Green, Let's Get Positive Hi, I'm Empathic Coach Rochelle, dedicated to helping others. I'm here to inspire and motivate you on your path. Hi, I'm Empathic Coach Rochelle. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you for all the new viewers as well. All the love and support you show towards my channel means a lot to me. Thank you for all the feedback, comments and requests for my next video. Please keep watching. Migration inequality is a large-scale movement of members of a species to a different environment. Migration is a natural behavior of many species, not limited to animals, though animal migration is the best known type. Nobody likes coming home to a concrete jungle with nothing but walls and buildings to stare at. Life is a journey and we humans are migrate by nature. Getting stuck indoors just because a little rain, well that can never stop us from going out whether day or night. We cannot get enough of the greenery that nature has to provide. We might stay in the city because well, our profession demands it. But by the weekend, like any other species, we just want to escape on an adventure into the green outdoor. Just a break to take all of nature in. The first destination that comes to mind always brings us to our native place. For me, it's the beautiful island of Sharao in the state of Goa in India. Every happy childhood memory Every summer vacation is attached to this place. Here we are taking a ferry boat to commute to the island. We have reached the island just getting out of the ferry boat. Beautiful scenic Sharao Island. Beautiful old churches. A sight only seen in villages, a bull by the side of the road enjoying the afternoon breeze. This is the famous Salimali Buat Sanctuary in the island of Goa by the Maundui River. Named after the well known Indian ornithologist and naturalist. Salim Moizuddin Abdul Ali, the bird man of India. The island of Sharao is known for a number of species of native and exotic birds and also a native plants, animals, amphibians, reptiles and insects. The Indian pea fowl, Pavo cristatus, also known as the common and blue pea fowl, is a pea fowl species native to the Indian subcontinent. It has been introduced to many other countries.
The white throated kingfisher, Halcyon spinensis, also known as the white breasted kingfisher, is a tree kingfisher widely distributed in Asia from the Sinai East through the Indian subcontinent to the Philippines. A snail is a shell gastropod or a terrestrial permanent gastropod mollusk. The genre of snail is generally includes numerous species of the land snails, sea snails and freshwater snails. Flamingos are a type of wading bird in the family. For four flamingo species are distributed throughout America including Caribbean and two species are native to Africa, Asia and Europe. The hornbills, Bucerotidae, are a family of birds found in tropical and subtropical Africa, Asia, and Melanesia. The barn owl, Taito alba, is the most widely distributed species of owl in the world and one of the most widespread of all species of birds. It is also known as the common barn owl to distinguish it from the other species in its family, Titonidae, which formed one of the two main lineages of living owls, the other being the typical owl Strigidae. The barn owl is found almost everywhere in the world except for the polar and desert regions, Asia, north of Himalayas, most of Indonesia and some Pacific islands. How lucky am I to get to bird watch? sitting right here in the gallery of my home in the island of Sharal. Here's my sister Ayuna meditating in the morning. And why not? The green hues of nature makes you feel so comforted. The sound of nature makes you feel so calm. Nature absorbs all negativity within you, fills you up with so much joy and positivity like never before. The Indian black turtle, Melanochelis trichuga, or Indian pond terrapin, is a species of medium-sized freshwater turtle found in South Asia. They are the most widely and abundantly distributed species, 52.23%, and was recorded from 132 sites in the state of Goa. There are approximately 356 turtles living on land in all continents except Antarctica and in both saltwater and freshwater. We have fostered one Indian black turtle. I call him Macho Man. He was found in the field by a local. He's 20 years of age but still a little camera shy. He loves dipping himself in the bucket. The fresher he gets, the happier he looks. He has quite a macho unique personality. We just adore him.
He is a non-vegetarian, loves eating banana, meat and fish. He is free to roam in the house. You will be surprised where all we found him exploring. Dolphin is a common name of aquatic mammals within the infraorder Cetacea. The term dolphin usually refers to the five extinct families. Delphinidae, the oceanic dolphins. Platinistidae, the Indian river dolphins. Inidae, the new world river dolphins. And Pontopuridae, the brackish dolphins. And the extinct Lipotide, Beji, or Chinese river dolphin. Platanistide, or Indian river dolphins, is a family of river dolphins containing the extant South Asian river dolphin, but also extant relatives from marine deposits in the Neogene. There are 40 extant species named as dolphins. Their closest living relatives, the hippopotamuses, from which they diverged about 40 million years ago. Dolphins are intelligent loving mammals and are said to have saved several fishermen and seafarers from drowning during many storms at sea. We love spotting dolphins skipping through the waves, carefree and unrestricted. Take a tour to any of the dolphin spotting beaches. These are a few top of the list. Palolem Beach Cavalossum Beach Sinkerim Beach Morjim Beach and Coco Beach. It's relaxing to see nature at its finest and you might even catch a perfect Govan sunrise at the same time. The Hydrophilix bahuvistara, also known as the widespread fungoid frog, is a colorful frog found widespread in Peninsula, India, distributed in Maharashtra, Karnataka, Goa, and Madhya Pradesh. It is very similar to another species, Hydrophilix malabariscus. Hoplopatricus tigerinus, Indus Valley or Indian Bullfrog, popular name Asian Bulldog, is a large species of frog found in mainland Myanmar, Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan and Nepal. It has been introduced in Madagascar and India's Andamans Islands, where it is now widespread invasive. Erebus macrops, also known as the common owl moth, is a species of moth of the family Erebidae, first described by Carl Linnaeus in 1768. It is found in the subtropical regions of Africa and Asia. The wingspan is about 12 cm, making it exceptionally large for an Erebidae species.
insecta Abis trigo, the red hairy caterpillar, is a moth of the family Eripithae. It is found in southern India. Extigmin acrea, the salt marsh moth or acrea moth, is a moth of the family Eripithae. The species was first described by Drew Drury in 1773. Phasmothoria can be found all over the world except for the Antarctic and Patagonia. They are most numerous in the tropics and subtropics. Over 300 species are known from the island of Borneo, making it the richest place in the world for Hasmothoria. Garoshius morosus, the common Indian or laboratory stick insect, the species of Hasmothoria, Hasmith, often kept as pets by schools and individuals. Like the majority of Hasmothoria, sea morses are nocturnal. Mantises are an order of Mantoria of insects that contain over 2,400 species in about 430 genera in 15 families. The largest family is the Mantidae, Mantids. Mantises are distributed worldwide in temperate and tropical habitats. The Indian crested porcupine, Hystrix indica or Indian porcupine, is a large species of Hystrix comorph, rodent or order Rodentia, belonging to the old world porcupine family, Hystricidae. It is native to southern Asia and Middle East. The smooth coated author Luthrogil perspicillata is an author species occurring in most of the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia with disjunct population in Iraq. As its name indicates, its fur is smooth and shorter than other author species. It is listed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List since 1996 and is threatened by habitat loss, pollution of wetlands and poaching for illegal wildlife trade. Animals can't speak for themselves. Lend them your voice. Support animal rights. Speak for those who can't. Plant trees. Help plant 2 million trees. Here's what they do. As Charles Persian quotes, our sorrows are all like ourselves mortal. There are no immortal sorrows for immortal souls. They come, but blessed be God, they also go. Like birds of the air, they fly over our heads. But they cannot make their board in our souls. We suffer today, but we shall rejoice tomorrow. Matthew chapter 6 verses 25 to 27 That is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear, isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns. For a heavenly father feeds them. 
and aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? Isaiah chapter 40 verses 29 to 31 He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Even youths will become weak and tired. And young men will fall in exhaustion. And those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Psalm 147 verses 7 to 9 Sing to the Lord with grateful praise. Make music to our God on the harp. He covers the sky with clouds. He supplies the earth with rain and makes grass grow on the hills. He provides food for the cattle and for the young ravens when they call. Let us pray. O oh God, thank you that you created the heavens and earth. I know that your work in my life is not over. It's just the beginning. Thank you, God. From now on, I celebrate the good and the bad. I celebrate my life. I believe you will set me on the path of goodness and happiness. I make this prayer in your name, O oh God. Amen. Please check the link below in the description box for more videos to cater to help you. Please leave your valuable feedback and recommendation for my next video in the comment section. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to show your love and support to my channel. Thank you.